So we're here today, Kimberly, to talk about the World Day of Prayer, uh, which is, I suppose, one of the most important days in the Unity Calendar, a time which we give over to prayer, not just here in the prayer room, but around the country. Um, but I just wanted to uh, tell you a little story, something that happened to me recently. I was listening to uh, Jim Freeman, James Dillett Freeman's talk from way back in 1995. And he was mentioning the birth of silent unity. And I have to admit, I didn't quite know why the word silent was used in silent unity. I mean, I know that silence is very important and it is, of course, a day of silent prayer, the World Day of Prayer. But he was saying that in 1891, uh, uh, the, the two founding members, the uh, uh, Charles and Myrtle Fillmore, who had begun this magazine called Modern Thought, started a society called the Society for Silent Prayer or something very similar. And it was simply a group of people who decided in Kansas, Missouri in 1891, to sit together at 10 o'clock every night, 10 p.m. every night, for 15 minutes and be in the silence and bring with them, this was a very important element, bring with them into the silence, the names of those people in their own lives or names that had been given to them uh, that they wanted to hold in prayer. And they started to do this every, every day of the week. Um, and to cut a long story short, that uh, encouraged people, other people to join them and also encouraged uh, people to write to the magazine, Modern Thought, which was the precursor, precursor of the Daily Word, uh, with names uh, anonymously uh, given, uh, so that names began to flood into what became known as silent unity. So it began with that moment in Kansas, 130 years ago, when people sat together in a room in silence. And really, that's what the World Day of Prayer is. Yes. Yes, and the silence is important because as we learn to practice stilling our minds and getting silence inwardly, we open to a greater experience of God as the highest and the best that we can experience in each moment. So rather than focusing on what a problem is or a particular person that's struggling, we bring all into that silent knowing that in and with God, all is well. So we are holding that energy for everyone whose name has been shared with us, but we do it in that silence, reverence, um, to enable realization, to en enable the realization of the Father and I are one, as Jesus taught. You know, he would go up into the mountain to pray all the time. So many mentions of that in the Gospels. He took himself apart, he entered into the silence and he prayed and he connected with God as his Father. And so for us in unity, we uphold that tradition of silent prayer. All the names are in our prayer box and on the World Day of Prayer, we actually do um, quietly and reverently just call out the names. It's the only day of the year but we act when we actually do that, call out the names. But we do it in that silent prayerful knowing that all is well, that God is there in the midst. There's not a problem to fix or solve. There's the silent knowing that in and with God, all is well. And by taking the words away, we go deeper and we go into our heart centers. Yeah. And this is where we get the realization. This is where we get the knowing. And this is the practice that we offer in unity as a, as a way of diving into that God experience. And it is through the silence. And I'm a talker. I know <laughs> I can talk. But I also know the power of being silent. And um, it's very simple for people, isn't it? Because uh, you can join us. Um, anyone can join us in their own home. Yeah. You can join us online, and uh, if you want to go onto the website, you can find all the details. You can even that. come here if they want to. <laughs> you can come to Taplo and sit with us in this room, and it's a continuous prayer for this single day from nine o'clock in the morning to nine o'clock at night. Nine o'clock at night, and uh, and that's mostly silence. Um, well, perhaps almost entirely silence. And encouraging people to be silent in their own homes, maybe yes. for 15 minutes or, yes. or whatever. Uh, however long works. And we do find that when people start to experience this with us, they keep coming back for more. There's a real sense of a different experience. And the world is so busy and so demanding that to take a step out of that 
and to enter into silent prayer, silent meditation. Contemplative prayer really is a desert father's and mother's practice and still do. When we move into that space, we just keep coming back for more. And we, we, and we need it, don't we? Because as you say, we're living in a very busy world and a, and a world of cacophony, yeah. a world of shrieking voices, you know, arguments or whatever. I mean, it's not all bad. I don't want to sound like I'm um, banging a drum for um, the bad old world, but, but there is, it is a very noisy world, isn't it? It's demanding, it's distracting, and yes, very easily takes our focus and our awareness and our attention. So this practice of coming back um, to center, to a point of stillness, to encourage the mind to drop down into a deeper abiding awareness and knowing of God is such a powerful gift. And in unity, we pray to change ourselves. We don't pray to change the world, to fix the world. It's about seeing life rightly, seeing the world rightly in its purest form and purest sense. And as we shift our perspective, our experience, we then experience the world in a more uplifted way and find we can take part in the world in a more uplifted way and bring that energy into the world. So it's not just about, I'm all right, Jack. It's about sharing that energy. That's when the real power comes, sharing that knowing with others, but we come from the point of centeredness through the silence. And what day is it? Remind us of the date. It's Thursday the 8th of September at 9 o'clock to 9 o'clock, as you said, Steve. And we do have a few scheduled meditations planned where we will be guided into silence throughout the day. You can find all the details on our website. But as Steve said, the bulk of the day is silence. And you will be able to come onto the Zoom meeting and hold that with us and anticipate, expect a change because when we expect it we do receive it well, there we are there's a challenge for all of us so thank you kimri <laughs> and um uh we wish you will be with us yes on do that join day. us yes everyone is welcome wherever okay yeah. namaste thank you